Hey guys, at you with another lesson today. Today we're going to be talking about crosstalk. Crosstalk is really annoying. It's when you've got a situation when you hit a pad and you're triggering another pad at the same time. Some guys, when playing acoustic drums, they like to have snare buzz on their toms and stuff like that. But in an electric situation, if you're trying to edit your pads and you hit your snare and you get a single from your tom, that tom is going to come up on the screen and all of a sudden you're putting a snare sound on your tom. To get rid of that, you go to your trigger settings and you go to this function called crosstalk. If I hit my snare, that's fine. But if I hit my tom, tom 1, I'm hearing tom 2 now. So if I were to go and put a voice on tom 1 and I intended for tom 1, it's going to go on Tom 2 now. What I need to do is go back to Tom 1 and let's turn up the crosstalk to, let's say, 30. I'm still getting Tom 2. So I go to Tom 2. Let's turn the crosstalk up to the same. And since you probably just saw that we triggered Tom 3, let's hit Tom 3 and we'll also turn that up to 30. Now if I did this right, that crosstalk should be gone. Oh, I got crosstalk in my snare, so let's turn that up to 30. As you can see, at crosstalk level 30 for my snare and all my toms, now everything is only triggering itself. You could do this with your cymbals. You know, sometimes you're going to trigger a crash sound when you hit your tom 3 if your cymbal's too close. Really, it's just vibration going through the rack. Another real easy way to take care of this is actually just get standard drum hardware and separate your pads so they're not actually on the same mounting surface that also gets rid of crosstalk if you got any questions just leave them in the comments below thanks for watching